Hello everyone. This is Pastor Denise Adams. I'm so glad to be with you today. Wow, I am obviously inside today. We have a thunderstorm happening outside at the moment and uh, I just thought, yeah, I better come in today. I have my window open and we're going to do this inside. The hail was coming down. I heard a few cracks of thunder and the lightning obviously was around, but hey, that's okay. Praise God. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, let's do this today, guys. Let's do this. We've been talking about um, a word of God. God bless you. This is going to be a short video. I'm going to do some sharing, some preaching, some teaching, and we're going to do some shouting and praying. So I won't be interacting with you like I normally do, but uh, it, it's more of a just a shout out to everyone Amen. Glory to God. Now, there's been a lot of things that have been going on in the body of Christ. Well, in the world, purely in the world. And uh, what I've noticed is uh, there's a lot of um, noise. Can I say it politely? Noise out there that is, you know, it's grieving the heart of God. Can I say that bluntly? It's grieving God's heart right now. And uh, it's grieving my heart, too. Um, there's, you know, firstly, we've had this horrible disease, this, uh, a virus, um, and then fear has come along with the virus. This is what's going on, guys. Let's take a look at what's really going on here. Then there comes lack that is associated with the virus, financial lack. Uh, the, the stock market went crazy for a while, and I know it's coming up in Jesus' mighty matchless name. Then recently what's just happened, offenses come in with with those who are in the church and those outside of the church. Offense has come in because of what some people have done and what some people have not done. And it's been all over. It hasn't been like one group is bigger than the other on it. And it's just like, it's grieving the father's heart. It's really grieving his heart. Now I've done a couple of posts with all these scriptures on there. You can look for them and uh, you can take a look at what's going on. And uh, so from this offense, now there's offense and then there's second hand offense that's happening. The second hand offense is when um, you get offended over what's happening to somebody else. And there's this stuff happening in the body of Christ causing unforgiveness, causing division, causing strife and we know that's all of the devil and you know what i'm not going to take the bait i refuse to take the bait this is the bait of satan that he's trying to get us all to take a a big old bite of and hook us and it's not working for me i don't know about you it's not working you know we're these are my brothers and sisters in the lord every one of you brothers and sisters in the Lord. And it's very, very, very important that we uh, stop and take a look at what we're doing. You know, Jesus had something to say about that. I want to go to some scriptures in Luke chapter 9, verse 49 and 50. Hallelujah. I'm going to go to verse 49 here. It says, uh, John said to Jesus, I'm reading from the New Living Translation. Luke chapter 9, verses 49 and 50. So John said to Jesus, Master, we saw someone using your name to cast out demons. But we told him to stop because he isn't in our group. And this is Jesus' response. This needs to be our response. But Jesus said, don't stop him. Don't stop him. Anyone who is not against us is for us. Or anyone who is not against you is for you is for you we you know what our biggest job right now is walking in love healing the sick casting out devils walking in unity and love standing firm together working together hallelujah doing this job together recognizing the administration of one church is different from another administration of another church the grace on one church is different from the grace on another church but we're all one body. We belong. You know, when you're, when you're knee, you, ex you, you can't expect everyone to be a knee. They may be a toe. And, and if in the church it's the body of Christ, if the toe is acting like a toe, the knee can't tell the toe, this is the way you got to do it. No. See, there's a tension in the scriptures. There's a tension in the scriptures. And what does that mean? 
The tension in the scriptures refers to scriptures that are similar, but they seem contradictory to one another. Therefore, you need the full counsel of God's word on the subject and be thoroughly um, furnished in that word. And, everyone say and, and you need the Holy Ghost. You need the Holy Ghost in that message, in that word. You need the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, so that you can speak properly so that you can know what to do, so that the direction of your church and the work that you're doing, that you're responsible for, to the Father, hallelujah, is is on track, is on track. I can't tell you how to run your tru- your church, your your group. I can't tell you how to do that. It's between you and God. Now, I oversee a lot of uh, people's ministries. I help them, I coach them and guide them. I, as I do apostolic work and I have ministries around the world, they call me and ask me for counsel in different areas. And I pray for them and I hear from God and they'll say something and I'll have agreement in my spirit. You know, that's the way it should be, right? There should be an agreement. So I have opportunity to speak into these people's lives because they've given me that permission to speak into their lives. Hallelujah. And I do it humbly. I do it humbly because they hear God too. Hallelujah. And so we look at the scriptures. We we challenge ourselves with the word of God. We walk in love towards one another. But if you're over here in, in Timbuktu and somebody's over there in, I don't know, uh, Kalamazoo, I don't know, wherever, you get the point. And one old person over there is trying to tell another person what to do and they're not even associated. A knee's trying to tell a toe what to do. It's not going to work. There's going to be offense and strife and discord and every evil work. And the enemy is sitting there laughing at us. The enemy is sitting there laughing at the church going, well, they took that bait real easy. That was real easy. But we're mature Christians. That's not going to happen to us, right? We're going to be mature about it. Now, I know we're not perfect. And that's the key here is the next point is we have to walk in forgiveness. You may have blown up. You've made a mistake. I've done it. I've been there. I've made mistakes. Absolutely. But what do we do? We walk in love. And the love walk is so important because you're believing in faith for your family. You're believing in faith for your children and your children's children. You're standing, decreeing, shouting and carrying on. And Lord, this is it. The blood of Jesus. I'm in covenant with you. But you're walking in unforgiveness and uh, and discord with your brothers and sisters. Guess what? There's a scripture that says if you do that, if you walk in unforgiveness... God's not going to forgive you your your trespasses, those things. It's going to hinder your prayers. And I'm going to go to that scripture now. Let me go there. I have a few other scriptures too. I'm not sure if I'm going to go actually, actually there. But hey, you know, we'll see how the Holy Ghost flows. And then we're going to pray because I saw a couple things. One, I saw people in Italy, um, and I don't have a confirmation on this report. I saw them bowing down and praying and calling on uh, Santos, saying Santos. I heard Santos, and I, uh, an apostle, a uh, friend, he says they were uh, uh, calling out to God. They were in the streets calling out to God, and the whole um, uh, uh, plaza was filled with people on their knees praying to God, shouting out to God for help, and which is awesome. And they said they were going, calling out to Jesus. And... Um, I hope that's true. Amen. I really hope that's true. I think that's awesome. I think we need to do that. But before we pray, we need to make sure our heart is right. We need to guard that heart, right? I was talking to someone today and he was talking to me about, you know, you have to you have to always have that breastplate of righteousness on. And I said, I agree. I agree. Uh, you know, every morning he thinks about these things and makes sure that he's his mind is prepared, his heart is prepared for the day. And I love that he's taking time to prepare himself for his day. And you and I need to do that, too. I mean, not every day I don't take my armor off. I'm just saying does not come off. I need that 24 seven on me. Hallelujah. It's glued. It's glued with the crazy love of God. <laughs> It's attached to me. Hallelujah. You all got a picture on that. and Amen. White hot glue. White hot love is what the Amplified Bible. One version I saw that once. It really stuck with me. No pun intended. All right. Here we go. Now, don't feel condemned by the word, but be convicted if this hits your heart. We know the scripture. 
it was when uh, Jesus fig, uh, he cursed the fig tree and it, and it died and Peter was all amazed and says, look, it's, it's, it's withered, it's, it's dying. And Jesus said, have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, mm, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain be thou removed and be cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that the things that he saith which he has said shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he says. So therefore, I say to you, what things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. Now this is the part where I want to get to. This is where we need to get to. And when you stand praying, forgive, even if you have ought against any, mm, that your father who would is in heaven your father in heaven may forgive you your trespasses verse 26 but if you forgive not neither will your father which is in heaven forgive you your trespasses that is a big ouch guys we're we're standing in faith we're standing together we're believing god the enemy knows that we're in unity and i got my finger my grandma finger out uh, we're standing together in love. We're standing together in unity. We're standing together in one accord. We're praying. We're decreeing. We're shouting. We're, we're releasing the word of God. We're seeing miracles. We're seeing healings. We're seeing shifts. We're seeing changes. What's the enemy going to do? What he just tried to do. He's tried division and strife. He's tried for division, strife, and offense, and unforgiveness, and bitterness of heart. Stops you dead in your tracks. Stops your prayers from moving. Oh, but there's grace. There's, I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. He just said that. He just said that we are to forgive. Jesus said we are to forgive. We're to forgive so that our Heavenly Father can forgive us. In James, I believe it's James, he talks about your prayers are hindered because of the way you're treating your wife, it said to one, to one person. That's why your prayers aren't being answered because of the way you're treating people. Huh? Yeah, that's bigger than your bread box, isn't it? We have to treat each other well. And when we mess up, because we all will, there's no condemnation. You just need to repent. Turn to God and say, I missed it. Forgive me. That should not have happened. And I think there's a lot of people that may need to say that today. That should not have happened on my watch. Amen. This is an opportunity we have, you and me. It's never before to shout out to God, with a voice of triumph. A world needs us. God needs us to declare the word. We've been set for this time and season to declare this word over the earth. And we have to guard our heart. We have to guard our mind. We have to wear our armor 24-7. Hallelujah. And trust and believe for the miracles because it's not about you anymore. It's about a world that needs your faith. Yes, your world needs your faith in Jesus Christ. No, it's not just your faith. It's your faith in him. Amen. Hallelujah. My, my faith is, I, I, know that, I know what God can do. God can do all things. God can do all things. Amen. Hallelujah. But position yourself to receive all that is of him. Hallelujah. Now, you know, I'm not going to get into legalism or anything like that, but there's a point here of forgiveness that is required. Unforgiveness will stop you in your tracks. It's in the Bible. Search it out. It's right there in black and red. Jesus is talking in the scriptures. And he, you'll see that. Amen. That we need to walk in forgiveness. We need to walk with barefooted priests. Gently, kindly, with a heart submitted to God. Hallelujah. There are times, you know, um, when you don't want... You're going to see some stuff in the next few months and years that are going to make the hair on the back of your neck stand up because you're going to be so angry. But it says, be angry and do not sin. So there's a level of anger. Now, there's also a time when the hair on the back of your neck is going to stand on end at the presence of Almighty God. As he blows into your home, into your room, into your church building. Thank you. We'll be there very soon. 
Hallelujah. And God's going to show up and uh, change everything in a breath, in a heartbeat. Just as this storm passed in today, I thought that's very interesting. This thunderstorm came in, it, it blew in, it was coming in this afternoon, I knew it was coming. And I knew I, even before uh, that I would have to be inside, um, they thought it'd be early afternoon, but it was, it was at this time of day. I just knew I would be inside today. Hallelujah. But the thunderstorm blew in, made a whole bunch of noise, big flash, and then it was gone. Looks like it's almost gone. Could be another crack or two out there to be released. The enemy is like that too. And we have to be alert in these times and days to guard our heart. Have the shield of faith up. Have the sword of the spirit up. Have the helmet of salvation on. Absolutely. Have um, the breastplate of righteousness, uh, the belt of truth, the feet shod with the gospel of peace. Amen. We have to have all of those things in place. Absolutely. Because you're going to come out running out of this, guys. You're coming out of this running to save souls. And we need to be re ready. We need to be mature. It says perfect in the Bible. And uh, if you look at the understanding in the Greek, it means mature saints. Mature saints who can handle a tough situation or two and get through it. Hallelujah. And there's no there's no problem of uh, justifying, uh, you know, saying, Lord, forgive me, coming to the throne of grace and obtaining mer mercy. Because some of you, y'all may need some mercy. I've needed mercy at times in my life. We all have. You know, to say you haven't is probably incorrect. And you may need to cry out for mercy. Right on. Well, listen, I hear there was an earthquake in Idaho, around Boise, Idaho. Just um, about uh, 45 minutes ago. And we need to pray for them. We need to lift up the people in Idaho. Um, I hear in Italy... There is an outpouring, and I believe it is the Spirit of God. I cannot confirm that at this moment. I pray it is. I pray it's the outpouring of the Holy Spirit and men and women seeking God on their face in the plazas. There is a plaza filled with people on their face crying out to God. And I pray, I pray that is them reaching out to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Some of you will catch that. Amen. We need them crying out to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So let's pray. Father, I thank you for everyone here hearing my voice today. I thank you, Lord, that uh, your word is true. It is strong. It is powerful. It is mighty. It is sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Let your word do its work in the hearts of your people tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Heal our land, heal our pastors, heal our leaders, heal their hearts in the name of Jesus. Those who need to get down on their knees in the name of Jesus, I pray, I pray, I pray in the name of Jesus that their hearts be open to do that, to, to fall on their knees, to fall down before you and call on you to help in a time of need, to turn from their ways of uh, that are against you, the ways that they've gone their own way far from you and that they'd see you and receive you as Lord and Savior, that sin would not abound in them any longer, but they would see and hear your voice and cry out for you and ask for help and ask for change and you are a merciful God you are full of mercy we thank you for your merciful hand upon the nations and in, including Italy including Spain and England and the United States and oh my homeland Canada and uh, all across the Caribbean and South America in um, Asia in Indonesia and in Australia in uh, Africa and in Antarctica, Lord, let the outpouring of your spirit now begin in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let the power of the Most High come down upon your people now in the name of Jesus. And I ask you to send help to Idaho, uh, to Boise, Idaho, in the name of Jesus Christ. Send forth 
your healing power to Idaho now. I pray, I pray for safety and security of your people in the glorious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, I, I give you praise today. I give you glory today. I magnify you today. I lift up every health worker, every um, uh, essential worker, every home care worker, every senior in the name of Jesus Christ, I send forth the living word to them now. The word that goes like lightning and strikes into the hearts of men and causes strength and vitality and power and might to be released in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them arise in the name of Jesus. Let your goodness be seen in the name of Jesus. Let your power fill them to the overflow, strengthening them with might in their inner man, um, uh, changing everything within them, driving out sickness. We drive it out in the name of Jesus Christ. We drive out infirmity of every type of nature, coronavirus and everything else in Jesus' name. The cutting out of this better than before in Jesus' mighty name. We declare in the name of Jesus Christ, every young one, every old one, every afflicted one that has this coronavirus who is at home or in the hospital, who, Lord, we send forth your word to them of encouragement and of peace and of hope and of healing and health in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We send forth the word of God to drive out every form of sickness and disease out now in Jesus name out now in Jesus name I declare these people free in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth hallelujah I thank you Lord for miracles like popcorn tonight in the name of Jesus popping forth into the in the homes and in the cities in the highways in the byways in the cars in the name of Jesus Christ that people are getting healed like this like this, they are being healed and set free and delivered and turning to the living God in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord, like lightning, oh God, you're striking your people with your goodness, your mercy, your healing power, and your your awesomeness, Lord, your dunamis power in the name of Jesus Christ. And so, Lord, we thank you for the pastors again. We thank you for the leaders across the land. We thank you for them, Lord. We ask, Lord, that you would touch their heart and give them peace in the name of Jesus Christ. They're my brothers. They're my sisters. I ask you to send them peace, peace, peace in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we lift up the governments of the land. Give them the wisdom. Give them the wisdom to do what they need to do to make sure that everything is is set in place to help the people to recover the economy, to turn things around in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And in the name of Jesus Christ, ha Shaba, Dento, Bramate, Steco, Rama, Deshtu, Ye Broman Yendo, Dana Brandeste, Kando Rabadesteco. Lord, we lift up every business. Lord, I thank you that you're giving them ideas and witty inventions of how they can make the equipment that's necessary, the masks the um the uh, breathing apparatus everything that's required to help those in jesus mighty name those hallelujah uh, those people. Thank you for those businesses, Lord God. Thank you for the heads. Thank you for giving them ideas. I could declare a download of dreams over them now, a download of visions, a down now load now in the name of Jesus Christ. I release that now in Jesus' mighty name. I thank you, Lord. Your hand is upon them. Your hand is upon them. You're giving them ideas. And Lord, I lift up every stay-at-home mom who has been working diligently with their children. I thank you, Lord, for giving them grace to be creative with the children, grace to do what needs to be done and leave the rest for now, grace to function, to find time to be with you, grace to hear your voice, grace to relax and enjoy this time, grace to be fed of the spirit of your living word, and grace to be transformed in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Father, we lift up the men now in Jesus' name to take their place in Jesus' mighty name. We lift up the men, men who have been called to the fivefold, who have been resisting and running from their call. We ask, Lord, that you would 
catch them. Catch them now and bring them in. Now is the time uh, for to come in out of the cold. Now is the time to turn back to the Lord. Now is the time to do their heavenly assignment. Now is the time. There's no later time. Now is the time. I thank you, Lord, for your time. I thank you, Lord God, that you're using your med. Let the anointing fall on them like, like heavy, like a heavy, heavy blanket. Let it blanket the men now. And in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we lift up every woman called to the fivefold ministry. Lord, your apostles, your prophets, your evangelists, your pastors, and your teachers. And I ask that you too would send forth your anointing to them. Those who've been running from it, those who've been hiding from it, let the weight of your glory follow them like a heavy, heavy, glorious blanket in the name of Jesus Christ and speak to them, speak to their hearts, speak to their mind, speak to their will, speak to their emotions, speak to their intellect, O God, speak to your daughters and your sons, O God, your, thank you, Lord, your trained ones, those have been trained, they've been trained and they've been trained and they've been trained, now is the time for release in Jesus name. Now is the time for them to go forth. Hallelujah. And train up others to do likewise. In the name of Jesus Christ, we call forth the rising up of the army of God in the name of Jesus Christ. We call forth the power of the most high God to rise up now in Jesus name, in your women and in your men, in your young adults and your old adults, in your seniors, in every age group, in your children, oh God. Use your children even, Lord. Let them rise up and take their place in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. And Father, I lift up the food supplies in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord God, this food supply is strong. The food supply shall not shall not grow weak. The food so shall the food supply shall remain strong. I thank you for great production teams in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you for everything being produced and I, I thank you, Lord, for those workers, those businesses that are doing the work that they're called to do to supply for the communities. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And those those in the third world nations where they're struggling, Lord God, we ask you send send uh, send help. Send help in a way we don't know. Send help, Lord, in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I praise you, God, for what you're doing. I praise you, Lord, and I glorify you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. You're watching from India. Praise God. Pray for me for my sickness and heal my broken heart. Father, in the name of Jesus, and I, I, I come against every type and form of sickness in his body. In the name of Jesus, and even from a broken heart, I, I command that heart to be healed in Jesus' name. We send forth the word now to you in Jesus' name to impact you. We drive out sickness now in Jesus' name. We drive it out in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 We thank you, Lord. We thank you for India. We thank you. I was thinking of India, actually, before he came popped up. Um, I thank you, Lord, for the people in India and Indonesia and Malaysia and in uh, all of China. Oh, Lord God, we just thank you for them. We thank you for providing supernaturally for all of their needs. Every need met. Every need met in the name of Jesus Christ. Every need met. Glory to God. In the glorious name of Jesus Christ, we declare it so. We declare it done. Oh, I can feel the anointing and the fire of God. Hallelujah. Just I release a fresh wind of the Holy Ghost to come upon you like lightning. Take it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Take the anointing. Take the grace. Glory to God. Princess Limo, God bless you, woman of God, from all the way from Nairobi, 4.30 in the morning. Thank you for joining me. God bless you, woman of God. Amen. God use you mightily in Jesus' name. Well, this is a little bit longer tonight because I had something I needed to say. And the Lord had me up very early this morning uh, with this word. And um, yeah, it's it's very important. It's very needed. And it's a word of correction, but it's a word of love. And uh, the Father loves us so, so much. We need to walk in that love 24 seven. So listen, I'm blessing you all tonight. I bless your households. I bless all of your families, all of your relatives, 
all of your children and all of your children's children. I just release grace, grace for this time, grace for this season. You will get through it in the name of Jesus. God is with you. He is for you. He is in you. He's backing you. He's lifting your arms. I say strength, strength, strength in Jesus name. Be strengthened with might in your inner man. Let the love of God abound in you now in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you and I praise God for you, each and every one of you. If you haven't, if you just got online, please go back to the beginning and watch the whole show. And if you um, want to uh, share this, that would be awesome. More people receiving this word, the better. I think uh, it's God's word. God's word is healing, it's nurturing, it's strengthening, and it corrects. It brings health and life to us. Amen. Hallelujah. So, Lord Jesus, we just thank you for everyone who joined today. And Holy Spirit, we just thank you for the weight of your glory touching every person even right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Let the, let the, the weight of your glory fall upon your people. In Jesus' mighty, matchless name, amen. Amen. God bless you all. God bless you all. I love you. I love you. Jesus loves you. I'll see you tomorrow night.